hey guys welcome back to another video on the channel so in this video we're going to be doing an unboxing of yet another retro handheld device so this one is the ambernic rg 35 xx plus so let's go ahead and do the unboxing so in the box if we take off the lid we have the game console right here in a little plastic covering if we go ahead and take it out it pops out in this little plastic thing and we're going to put that to the side we're going to be taking a look at what's inside the box so inside the box we have the wipes then we have the user manual and we also have our screen protector which is a hard screen protector which is pretty good we also should have a charger so if we take out this white box right here we're going to see that we have a usb charger inside of it this is the first black usb charger type c charger that i've received all of the other ones for the miu mini and the r36s were white so that's what we got in the box now let's take a look at what's in the the main part of the you know unboxing first impression this is a lot heavier than the miu mini and also the r36s so let's go ahead and remove this plastic from the back parts then we're going to take it out of this plastic thing that it's in and we're also going to remove this little plastic foam styrofoam thing so this is the rg 35 xx plus it looks pretty good it looks similar to the miu mini if i take a look at the miu mini here but it's a little bit longer than the miu mini as you can see if i put them side by side and the buttons placement are pretty much the same but i like the r35 button looks or it looks more than the mini so we're going to be taking a look at the external features of the rg35 xx plus so starting off with the front part we have the directional keys then we have the menu button and before i go any further i have to say the you know the the buttons feels really really good it, it feels very very premium so we have the menu button we have the x a b and y and again this feels really really good i wish i could zoom properly but it feels so good pressing it it's it's crazy we have the start and select i like the fact that they have the you know a b x and y on the keys instead of be underneath them or beside them because you know the mini they are beneath them which is not cool in my opinion but the fact that they're on it it's really good so that's it for the front part if we go to the left side we have the volume up and volume down on the right side we have the power button reset button we have one slot for a memory card and then we have another slot which is pretty cool if we take a look at the top we have led indicators which i should assume one is for when it's on and the other when it's charging then we have the h d out i think this is a mini hdmi port hopefully it can focus but yeah i think this is a mini hdmi port under the bottom part we have the dc in for charging and the headphone jack which is pretty cool on the back part we have the r1 r2 l1 or an l2 they made it pretty cool you can see that little grip like it, it feels so good just putting my fingers into it 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 fits so perfectly so if i'm playing the game it just holds my fingers very well and make it feel so comfortable if i compare it to the mini the mini is <laughs> the mini doesn't feel that comfortable if i compare both of them to the r36s this is a lot more clicky makes a lot more sound and it's not that comfortable so now we're going to be going ahead and turning on the device and see what we get out of the box so we're going to go ahead and turn on the device by pressing the power button you should see an led indicator up here at the top and then if you look you'll see the ambernic logo so now that it's up you can see that we have some menu we have what is this the game room then we have the ra games favorites and history search settings we're gonna go into settings first let's see what kind of setting we have we have battery setting voltage we have lock screen brightness our backlight if we go to five let's make it a lot brighter we have io text don't know what that is
we're gonna go into the game rooms and we have psp ps1 we have uh vertica arcade and we have a lot more let's just scroll down gba ness md gbc gb we're gonna go to the psp games because i think it says up to psp games so the psp games would be the most advanced games or most taxing games on the system the console so we're gonna go ahead and load up some games we're gonna search for something that we feel would give this a little bit of challenge there isn't a lot which is sad i'll have to add some later on but let's go ahead and try out the tekken so starting off we have a little bit of issue because it sounds very laggy when i'm playing it and i don't know why it would be it should be a lot better than the r36s but in my opinion i played tekken 6 on the r36s and it wasn't that bad so it it's possible that because of the os that is on here the game isn't running properly but we're gonna be testing out some other games and comparing the r36s which is for 40 dollars and the new ambernick rg 35 xx plus to see if you know there is it's better to buy that one over this one so that's pretty much it for this video this is just a first impression unboxing type video as you can see we have the ambernick rg 35 xx plus we're going to be doing some more testing on it later on so if you guys want to see that but yeah thank you guys for watching the video and again if you want to see more content on this make sure that you are subscribed